welcome to all today i am going to discuss about the topics in c++ programming on c on class and an objective here class is a user defined data type which holds its own data members and member functions which can be accessed and used by creating an instance of that class here class is like a blueprint for an object in c++ programming language for example here the class name i am taking it as a cars there may be many cars with a different names and brand but all of them will share some common properties like uh, four wheels speed limit mileage range etc here the car is a class and wheels speed limit mileage are their properties it holds data members and member function here what is data members data members are the data variables and member functions are the functions used to manipulate these variables and to get the these data members member functions defines the properties and behavior of the objects in a class for the example you are taking here the class is a car and the data members should be speed limit mileage etc and member functions can be apply brakes increase speed etc and next what is an object an object is an instance of a class when a class is defined no memory is allocated but when it is instantiated that memory is allocated it is the structure of the class class is a keyword class name is user defined name depends on the program or user requirement you can give any name it holds a data members and member functions for these data members and member functions we are specifically mentioning access specifiers with a colon data members and with the semicolon and member functions we like a functions access specifiers it can be private public or protected and data members can be variables what are the variables you are going to use in the programs there you can mention like integer a comma b float type double okay here you can mention and member functions methods to access data members all any class name ends with a semicolon okay it is the structure of the class then how we can declare an object then what is the syntax of an object class name space object name and with the semicolon here the class name and object name both are user defined it i am going to ask question the question is what does a class in c++ holds data only data or the class contains only functions or the class contains both data and functions 
are it contains only an arrays what it holds i am giving 2 minutes time to you all respond me tell me the answer what does a class in c++ holds data functions both the data and functions and arrays if you remember structure of the class this question is very easy to you one more time i'm repeating the question is what does a class in c++ holds is it contains only data or functions or both data and functions are arrays Okay, and the answer is C. The class contains both data and functions. Okay, and now next topic is access modifiers. Access modifiers are used to implement an important feature of object-oriented programming known as data hiding in c++ programming language totally three types of access modifiers available those are public private or protected if you declare it as public to the data members and member functions in a class anyone can access the data okay uh, if you declare it is a private no one can able to access the data from class here protected uh, behaves like a private if it is declared as a protected no one can able to access the data okay i have the important note uh, regarding to this concept access modifiers if you don't mention any access modifiers the default access modifiers to the data members and member function will be taken by the compiler is private access modifier okay i am going to explain with an example on c++ compiler what is uh, what is the compiler we are using uh, for executing these programs in our sessions we are using turbo c++ compiler okay file input output stream dot h we are using here i am taking the class name is uh, samatha mathematical calculations we need to perform in this program by using classes 
first you need to mention access modifiers here I am mentioning public colon I am taking data members uh, a comma b and with semicolon here the function I am taking additions We are taking the function is cout. Enter. Thank you, so A and B R. For reading, what function you are using? C in A B. C equal to a plus B okay. the value of otherwise the addition of A and B values Class end with semicolon. Now the main function is started. Compiler always starts from main function. Now I am creating an object. How to, what is the syntax, how to declare an object? Class name. Here the what is the class name? Math is the class name. And you can take a object uh, M I am taking. That is user defined. By using an object only, I will call data members uh, and uh, I will call member functions from the class. Here, m dot add. Sh. It is a return type. Return zero. The command is all day of nine. Okay, no warnings and no errors in our program. Now you can execute the program. Control F9. Here I am taking the values of A is B and A, A value is 10 and B value is 20. The addition of A and B values 30. Okay. Now I will ask the question What is the user defined header file extension in C++? What is the user defined header file extension in C++? CPP That means a dot CPP extension C++ or dot .h or dot .hf or dot .h I am giving time to you all respond me one more time I am repeating what is the user defined header file extension in C++ is it dot .cpp dot .h dot .hf dot hg
okay the answer is b okay what is b dot h extension dot h extensions are used for user defined header files okay and generally in aqua braces we are using uh, we are representing header files and another one you can use uh, uh, enclosed within double quotes ash include okay in double quotes how we are mentioning i go stream dot h name dot h like that you can mention standard input output library dot h like that you can mention thank you and all